What up, YouTube family? I thought that today would be a good day. As I went through some of my old videos, I put up a video that I made years ago. So basically what happened is, is that long time ago, I had just got myself acquainted with the Adobe After Effects software. At the time, it was giving away a 30-day trial period, which they shrunk down to seven days and now require your credit card information because they kind of caught on to some people. Um, not going to mention myself. But anyways, um, when I was using Adobe After Effects, which I have to say is one of the easiest to learn and best visual effects software I've ever used. Um, I basically start making small videos to kind of put my portfolio out there to show, hey, what I can do with the software. And this is me just starting to use the software. I now use HitFilm Express, which you can buy your own attachments and add-ons, and it's just as easy to use. It has almost the same interface, but I like the fact that you get the base software for free, and when it comes to some of the aspects of it, you can actually pay for those um, separately. So if you want Mocha Film separately, you can get that, and they also have several deals. But anyways, um, right now I'm about to actually react to one of my old videos. And matter of fact, the title of it, I made this six years ago. The title of it is The Quarantine Preview. That's funny. I know I only got 13 views. I'm not worried about that. But as you see here by the date, it came out March 17th of 2016. I don't know why people, I've noticed a lot of people on YouTube don't have dates of when they uploaded their videos anymore. Maybe they forget to put it on there. I don't know why that's kind of weird to me. But I usually look for the date so I can see who got the freshest content or who got the most latest up-to-date content, especially if I'm looking for stuff. But we are about to go ahead and check it out. And this is going to be cringy. I already know for a fact. So we're going to react to this cringiness. Man, Man when I first, first agreed to this, to this project, project, I really, I really didn't, didn't think, think it was going to be like, like this. this. I mean, this is when I first start using the Dragon Flame logo, okay? I first started using literally the Dragon Flame logo about X amount, uh, no, around 2016, because I had Fantasy Studios. I created a series called Fantasy Fighters. I created this when I was like nine years old, and I tried to turn it into a comic book. But anyways, so I try to make, you know, movies of it. You know, it's hard trying to get people to try to do stuff because they're lazy. They want you to do all the work while they just, you know, do the easy part. But anyways, so what happened was, was that I found out there was a fantasy studio. So I was like, wait a minute, got to change my name. Okay, so let's go ahead. I don't know why Kamala Harris is the next video on whatever. Here, here I am, am. sitting here sitting in the middle, in the middle of this laboratory. laboratory. With the way to it. Now, all the backgrounds are nothing but pictures. They're pictures I got off the internet. They were free licensed pictures that I was able to use. That's all these are. I just used a green screen. And it wasn't very good at green screening because I didn't have the lighting right. But he took me. Like right there. That looks. He promised me something good. It came true. This didn't seem like that. Well, I look like a dick. I look back. back. See, see, I want to change the mind. I want to change the mind. I want to change the mind. I did want to go back back there. I wanted to. But I got good, good. So I kept moving. Push, push, push. Most people thought I was crazy. Most people thought I was crazy. But the next part. The next part. Hold up. Hold up. I ain't gonna lie, as old as that looks, uh, I didn't have the green screen lighting right. Like I said, I was like experimenting with the new version of Adobe. Cause I've been using Adobe After Effects since I know almost 10 years. I've been using it a long time. Yeah, I've been using Adobe After Effects for over 10 years. So this is not a new for 
for go for Tay or whatever you want to call it into um, After Effects. But when you always look back on your old stuff, you always kind of get this cringe feeling about it. But oh, it was, turned out turned to be out a night nightmare. I was skinny back then. You know how embarrassing that is and how corny that looks that you holding up the same light that's aimed at you? I mean, my arm is in the frame, biggest freaking day, holding the light up. I don't know why I did not edit that part out. You can see the microwave right here. You can literally see the same green screen that I use. <sighs> I think I lacked off taking my time with this. <laughs> Some green screen leakage. Why is that exactly here? Me, me. Of all the people, the anti-anti hesitation makes the make this special. There's some special special you say. Give it time to talk. Okay, first off, not gonna lie, I kind of like this part. It was amazingly put together. Um, I should have just made it darker so it seemed a little bit more realistic. But like I said, it's a picture. It's literally just a picture. It's not even video. It's just a picture. Um, this part right here, I kind of like... Wait, hello. When we walking down this hallway, um, that's also a picture as well. Like, let's go here. Can you see the green screen leakage? It promised me something good. It promised me I'll be able to do something. I don't know why I remind myself of Deji when I look at the. <laughs> Dude, I was so dude, I was smaller than I was like I'm about 200 almost like 240 pounds now. Back then I was like 180. So, yeah, I was way smaller. Uh great, great. This did this did this did. Back, back. No, I think I was two. No, I was two hundred. I, I, I was almost two hundred. So I do like how that part looks. I don't know why it, I played it again, but yeah, I I got this serious look on my face. You can see I looked way much better then, way much younger. You know, the chiseled chin and stuff like that, the frame structure and stuff like that. You know, I looked a lot better back then. If you see my brother Tyrone, you would think we were twins because we damn near looked just like. But except I'm bald headed, so so you put some hair on him. That's Tyrone. Okay, so which I'm gonna we're gonna come out with some of his stuff late. We gotta get time to do that. I know I said I was gonna do that. I need to get on the roll of doing that. I'm more motivated now to do that. So yeah, we can go ahead and get that type of stuff done. Like I said, I gotta react to some of this. This I'm not even gonna. You can see the green screen right here. That's how corny this is. And then let me show you the arm, the infamous arm. 
I got the arm holding the light. Mm, and I put it in the frame. Wow, that is bad. Oh man, it's cringeworthy. I got to cringe off my own stuff. Okay, this right here, I should have made the laboratory a little bit darker. I should have put some motion effects over here with some fractal noise and kind of blacked it out about 10% and did it with a motion blur to kind of give like, or a Gaussian blur. I get, no, oh, yeah, a Gaussian blur. I think it's Gaussian. Yeah, Gaussian blur and kind of like refractive noise or or opacity probably like 10% they kind of give it that you can still see this but it looks like it's actually smoke back there I could have cut this out right here masked this so that way the smoke looked like it was actually behind this and it looks like real smoke just coming out there you know give some excitement like I could have put some lights right here I could have made a light beam move right here give you know just at least give the background picture some live Nift to it, make it live, make it live. Um, I didn't have any awareness or knowledge of that back then, even though that was like, oh man, that was six years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I, it got it gets to a point where to make that video, like these two, three, four minute videos, was taking me almost two weeks because at the time I was working, and even if I wasn't working, it still was taking me a long time to edit this stuff, and I got to the point where. I was patient in the very beginning, which you can see, and it kind of as it goes through, it kind of like lets up. But this looks like it was a little bit better. You can still see some green screen bleed right there. Um, yeah, that's why exactly that. I mean, of all the people, yeah. Those are my voice. I just use the voice changer. I made the beat myself. I use Fruit Loops so Studio. Yeah, so Green screen. Green screen. Yeah, and that was uh, that was it. That was the cringeworthy reaction to my old quarantine video. I think I might do some more reactions. Oh my goodness, I really don't want to, but I guess I have to. Um, the next reaction I'm gonna do right after this is basically just my old Exodus video, which there's one scene on there I love, and it's actually the uh, icon to my YouTube channel. So you actually get to see where the YouTube channel, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, and we'll get down. This icon right here, up in this upper right hand corner you get to actually see where that icon come from because I got the video in which the icon was used for all right then so everybody out there you know quarantine's letting down so stay safe by smack you in the face have a wonderful evening bye now